morning, everybody. It's DJ Envy, Jess Hilarious, Charlamagne the Guy. We are The Breakfast Club. Now, if you're just joining us, we're talking about DDG and uh, Halle Bailey. All right, now, DDG said that... Um, to get, I guess to get Halle Bailey jealous, he DM'd his ex, Ruby Rose. <laughs> a clown. It's so funny, man. That's just really some young boy stuff, yeah, man. You sitting is. around with the woman of your dreams, the woman you mm-hmm. love, the woman you having a family with, mm-hmm. y'all having a little spat. You want her to think that you still got it and you can walk out this house and just go into the arms mm-hmm. of another woman knowing yep. don't nobody want your ass no yep. more. Okay, so you just had to send that out real quick to try to make her jealous. And she like, nigga, you, what? And you ain't going nowhere. I don't right, care. not going nowhere. I'm the Little Mermaid, what? I'm the Little Mermaid. <laughs> <laughs> it was a clown. <laughs> Jess, have you done this before? No, I ain't going to hold you, no. I haven't done it. And Now, I haven't done it to make somebody mad. I did it because I was mad, but I didn't want that person to find out. Oh. Like, all right, I, I did, like, double back on somebody that I was talking to when, <laughs> like, a current boyfriend had made me mad or something like that. But I didn't do that to get his attention. I did that just because he had made me mad, and I just didn't want to deal with him at the time. Like, all right, whatever. Got Let you. me hit this so other you cheated. dude back. Absolutely. Okay, all right. I, I did. Get, I get what you said. Okay. All First right. First of all, Envy, all right, like, you <laughs> what? I'm just asking you. Know you know what I'm saying? You beat you around the bush. trying to play you just now? Right. You see what I mean? <laughs> yeah. But I ain't do that to stress the guy out. All right. All right. Well, let's go to the phone. <laughs> I do. you like, yeah. Cheating's not going to stress him out? Who's going to stress him out? <laughs> Hello, Bree. Hey. Good morning. Hey, girl. <laughs> so I was basically saying that the craziest thing I did to get back with the ex was get full blown, dressed up, hair done, like made sure I looked the baddest that I could look and told him that I was going to go out there and do the same thing he was doing. But mm-hmm. really, I just was sitting in the parking lot or like <laughs> driving around to like my old apartment just to <laughs> kill some time. Mm-hmm. And come back like two o'clock in the morning and make it seem like I had the time of my life. But really, I was just in my car being miserable. <laughs> <laughs> That's sad. Wasting gas. Wasting yeah. gas. That's sad. Wasting gas. Like going, walking around Walmart, fully yeah. clothed. Looking you like know, you just came going. from church. <laughs> Did it yeah, work? I, see, not church, because, you know, the stuff that I was wearing, you couldn't wear the church. Right. But I, I, I made sure I looked that way, so he was under the impression that I was about to be out here in the street. Right. Did he call you? But was he calling he, you and texting yeah. you while you was out? No, but when Damn. I got back, he would, we, would, we, wouldn't be, we wouldn't even be talking. Like, he, he would be so unfazed by it, and it would just piss me off even more. So, so it was just so not worth back, it. So you it went back out so in the garage? You, you went back, back outside? Yeah, I would we I would just go back outside and sit in my car, act like I was mad and leave again oh and my. just be driving around. Damn. Oh my Man, God. humans are some stupid people. Yes. Oh my I mean, we are God. ridiculous. I mean, we are we are really ridiculous. You said, did you call us? Did he call you? No. no. <laughs> so, <laughs> so it didn't even work. Damn. Hello, who's this? Hey, this is not Hey Nautica, what you well, did to baby. your ex to, to to well what did you do to your man to make him jealous? I did the same thing. Um I caught him texting somebody. So I had to show him you ain't the only one out here who can have somebody. So I called somebody in front of him to let him know that he was on the phone and I put him off on the way to his house. And what he do? <laughs> he chased behind me and <laughs> He did what? <laughs> he chased behind me and hit my truck to you out for the go. Hold on, you saying that last part a little low. He yeah. choke slam you? What'd you say? No, I said he chased behind my car trying to see where I was going. Oh, 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 okay, 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 okay. And you wasn't going no damn place, the Walmart. Say what? You you wasn't going nowhere but the Walmart. I was going nowhere. <laughs> That's crazy. I better stop playing with these people. Absolutely. I better stop playing with these people. Why don't we understand proper communication skills, though? Why can't we just be honest with each other? And, and just t- talk. Just talk. Like, yeah. All this goofiness for no reason. Oh, and then she, oh my God. Then I was, I'm so mad with DDG because Hallie was pregnant. Mm. Like, all you had to do was be like, all right, look, what's up? What's wrong with you? Like, you know what I'm saying? Or whatever mm. the argument was about. She hormonal. She pregnant. And you gonna hit Ruby? Mm-mm-mm. What is wrong with you? CC. Hey, how y'all doing? Cece, what you did to make your man jealous? So, at the time, we worked with special education, so we dealt with a lot of students who had crisis, and I worked with my boyfriend at the time. And so, he didn't call me for like the whole day. He wasn't answering my phone calls. So, I had my friend call him 
continue with from my phone and tell him that I was in crisis. So he had to come to me. Like, it was real drastic and extra. So I had to think, like, I was having a panic attack and Oh, just, my God. Like, that. So you told me it you went to the emergency good. room? It was bad. So you told me you went to the emergency I, room? I didn't go to the emergency room, no. I mean, I made it seem like it was drastic. Like, I really Damn. needed him to be there. It was bad. Yeah. I and what did he, how did he react? Like how did he react? He was he was attentive and everything or whatever, but I can kind of tell he was kind of like, I don't know if I really want to be in this. I guess I made it worse for the relationship. Yeah. Anything. <laughs> like I kind of made it seem like I was dramatic and mentally unstable. I guess. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. No, for sure. Yeah, for, for sure. sure. Did thank you. Yeah. That's just like Carly Russell when she said she saw the baby walking down the highway. Cool. Just to all that to get yeah. that guy's attention. You're right, just to get his attention. Mm-mm-mm. What happened to communication? Yeah, sitting down having a conversation. That man didn't want to talk to her, so that's why she had. She said that she saw a baby walking down the highway, and she had to <laughs> save him. And also, think about it like this: What's more embarrassing, doing all of this goofy stuff y'all calling up here doing, or yeah. just talking to a person and telling them how you feel? Right, talking to you a know person. what I'm saying? Like being for real about your emotions. Yeah. That might be a little embarrassing. But, that might hurt a little bit, but not like not as much as this stupid stuff yeah, y'all doing. Yeah, but the problem is, crazy. these guys don't want to talk to them. That is the problem. You see what I'm saying? So they're That's trying why. to get the attention. Yeah. That's why she said the emergency room. That's why she said, all right, I'm going to go out. And I'm uh, going to wear the flyest clothes and put the, on my nice outfit. I want to get you no. jealous so you want to talk to me and you just driving around Walmart. He don't care. Right. And that's going to make me, that's going to push me away further because I'm going to be like, I thought she was crazy. Now I know she crazy. Yeah. <laughs> and what if and what if the guy had her location the whole time, right? It was like, you ain't even going away. He was in the garage the whole time, <laughs> dummy. Hey, yo. Stupid. 800-585-1051. What did you do to get your, your boyfriend or girlfriend jealous? Let's discuss. It's The Breakfast Club. Good morning. Morning, everybody. It's DJ NB, Jess Hilarious, Charlemagne the Guy. We are The Breakfast Club. If you're just joining us, we're talking about Halle Bailey and DDG. Now, DDG recently said that uh, he texted, or I should say DM'd Roby Ruse in front of Halle to make her jealous. So we're asking, what's the dumbest thing you did to make your ex or make your girl jealous or man jealous? Shay, what up, Shay? Hey, how you doing? What you did to make your man jealous, Shay? Well, we was a lot younger, but I used to put on clothes and dress up and take pictures on Instagram like I'm going to the club so he could see me. Mm. And your ass never left the house? No, never left. He should have blocked you. <laughs> that made it worse. <laughs> well, we still, get, we still together this day, so. I know that's right, girl. So it worked out. <laughs> what, what about the get back, okay, though? What, what if a guy, would? what if he just posted a woman's feet? On his Instagram. Oh, that's, <laughs> that's too far. Uh, well, that, that's definitely going too far, and yeah. that's definitely just stupid. I bet your ass wouldn't act like you was going to the club. You'd have got dressed and went right to this house. Uh-uh, then I would have really posted somebody else rubbing my feet. See? Yeah, see? see. That, that's just it's- how it goes. Hello, who's this? Hi, this is Kelsey. Hey, Kelsey. Hey, Kelsey. Now, we're talking about things, stupid things you did to try to make your man a, a woman jealous. Okay, so I stopped date. Well, I date my best friend's cousin, and um, we got into a bad argument. We stopped talking for about two weeks, and during that time, I had got drunk, real drunk, and I ended up um, sleeping with my kid's dad. So my best friend knew my location, and she told him that um, she she told the guy I was dating that I, I was at my kid's dad's house. So he went to do the same thing, but he ended up getting his baby mom pregnant. Ooh. Y'all play too much. That tit for tat thing, that yeah, that ain't always much. safe, huh? Mm-mm. No, it's not. But but look, That's tell the truth. Thing. So so you, you really was never over your baby daddy though, were you? To do something like that. No, I I listen, I really don't even like my baby dad. He just happened to have my kids that night and when I came to get them I was a little tipsy, so he, you know, he let me stay in his place, and it just happened. She wanted to get that familiar oh, pipe. God. <laughs> I wonder what makes you what makes you think a man gonna take you back after something like that, though. Yes, and he like, went to go sleep with his baby mother, but he got his baby mother pregnant. Damn. Crazy. Yeah, he 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 did he did worse. And he, but he did it in retaliation to what you did, and you your best friend it. a clown because your best your best friend definitely dimed you out. But I'm just saying. Yeah, he, I know. Yeah. Mm. And she probably mm. slept with both of them. Oh my god. Huh? <laughs> 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 she 
She slept with both of your men. Bet you. Thank you, mama. <clears throat> Hello, who's this? <laughs> she probably like, hold on. Lynn. Hey, Lynn, come Lynn. on. Lynn. Now, Lynn, Lynn. Hello, can you hear me? I can hear yeah. you, Lynn. Now, Lynn, what yeah. you did, Lynn? I was day, me and my spouse was together and he wanted to be single for a little while. So I decided to date his coworker. You said you and your what? I said me and my spouse decided to take a break for a little while, but the first person I dated was his coworker and he had to see him every day at work. Am I tripping or she's saying my son? No. no. She's saying her and her spouse. ex. Spouse. Okay, oh, okay, spouse. okay, okay, okay. Oh, spouse. Okay. This is your husband? Yes. Okay, so you and your spouse oh, play too much. Yeah. Did what now? Because I, I was caught up in something. Else. You and your spouse he did what? Said he, wanted, he said he wanted to be single, so I allowed a break. And the first person I dated was his coworker, and he knew he knew who the guy was. So he went up dapping the guy up, being weird to the guy, and he was like, "Why is he talking to me if he know me and he's talking?" I was like, "I have no idea. He's single." Why would you do that though? See, 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 yeah, stuff like Mary. that is so foul because in your, in my mind, you always wanted that co worker. That's yeah. right. You was always, you always had yep. eyes for that man. That yeah. ain't just thought. And at least he told you. Actually, no, he was just collateral damage. I just want him to show him that if you want to be single, I can be single too with someone you know. See, no, but with someone you know, that's the <laughs> that's crazy, crazy part. And then he was honest. He told you, I want to be single. He ain't go cheat on. He told you, I want to be single. And you went to go sleep with his co worker. Jesus. I didn't sleep with the coworker. I just went on a date with him. Nope, you slept uh, with him in my with, mind. Yeah, yeah, you slept uh, with him. Absolutely. You gave him fellatio. Uh, all of that. Y'all still together? No, mind. no. We're I, still together. We're still together. He got pissed and told me, "Tell him it's over. It's long." He still work there? Yeah, they still see each other. Jesus Christ! Nah, I, nah, we uh, we, we be fighting. Uh, 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 I mean, ain't nothing to fight over because I got. If I, yeah, if I if I love you. We together. You told me nothing happened. It nothing don't, happened. Don't I didn't cross no the way. line. But, but you my coworker. You know that's yeah, my, wife. He crossed the line. That's my wife. He crossed the line. He slept with other people, even though we were single. I feel like he crossed the line, and I did, and I think I did good. Now see, there you go. See, you didn't. You left those details out. Now see. Well, he, but did he sleep okay. with them before he told you that he wanted to be single? Well, you don't. No, want to he he did it after. See? He oh. did it after. But to think you could just come back with no repercussions? Come on. Nigga, I came to you and told you I, I wanted told to you be I wanted single, to be single. You said, and you cool. said, all right, cool. I did it. But she was on some get back. I didn't want to be single. I I didn't want to be single. So I just went with the program because so I love them. So that's what you say. No, that's what you say. You say, no, whoa, well, look, why did you get married? Why did you marry me if you wanted to be single? We need to go through with a divorce. And you see how that go. Girl, I should slip. But, the man, but to, to be fair, both of y'all was single. So whatever y'all did when y'all was single yeah. is what y'all did. Yeah, but it's a different single. Like, Not she's really. dating a homie. Not really. Yes. She went on a date with a guy that he worked with. He slept with mad that, girls. That's, that's yeah. worse. You put it on and the scale. No, you put it on favorite, the scale. The man is way worse. What you did? I went to our favorite spot, and, then, and he saw us, and he was like, whoa, whoa. But he was with a chick, too. She that, that, that's this what I'm saying. Men, too much. No, it's not. Men, 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 men can't handle the get back, and she no. ain't even sleep with the guy. They play too. Wait, that's what she's telling us. Damn. No. Nope. All right. Well, what's the moral of the story? After that last story, I don't know. Like, <laughs> <laughs> the moral of the story is just communicate. Word. Just communicate, yo. Like trying to make somebody jealous. And look, and listen. Yo, you said DDG is a young guy. Obviously, that don't matter the, the age, cause. They ain't young. That's right. Uh, you know what I'm saying? You it age don't matter. Just communicate, yo, and be honest. There you, go. you you going out your way to hurt yourself, trying to hurt some thinking you hurting somebody else and it don't affect nobody but you. That's right. Wake that ass up early in the morning. The Breakfast Club.